Okay, good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to be doing a webinar for the next 30 minutes on using technology to manage medical malpractice matters. And this presentation will go through a number of uh, apps and technologies that we use regularly. Let me just make sure that this is okay. Okay, now you should be able to see the presentation. Hopefully you can hear me. And um, again, uh, this presentation is about using your technology in your office to manage medical malpractice matters. Um, I'm a, a bit of a uh, tech geek when it comes to using all the apps, and I really enjoy uh, the new technologies out there. And we find that there are tons of efficiencies that can be brought into medical malpractice matters um, and speed up your review of voluminous documents and getting ready uh, for trial, uh, getting ready for your discoveries, flagging issues. So I'm going to go through a number of things that we use in our office uh, to maximize our efficiencies around these difficult projects. So uh, this is what I'm going to cover. Um, first of all, it is assumed that you are going to be scanning records into your office. I'm going to discuss how we do that efficiently. Um, then I'm going to discuss the case management side of the uh, software, so how we track our projects, how we um, uh, collaborate with our team and our experts, and tracking all the information related to a, 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 a medical malpractice case, both with um, uh, data collection and with um, the records that we've compiled and how we organize them. And I'll tell you the two um, applications that we use. And then uh, finally talking about how we outsource uh, some of the services for record collection. So we have been a paperless office. Uh, I mean, paperless, truly paperless is, is always a challenge, but we have been scanning records uh, for over uh, 15 years, almost 20 years, uh, where we have scanned documents that come into our office rather than getting hard copies delivered to the lawyers. Um, they go through our staff and the lawyers get a digital record. And I'll discuss how that works now. Taking that further, um, our mail uh, that is sent out is now being done electronically. Our faxes that we receive are received electronically. Um, sharing records is done electronically. Uh, we're getting to the point uh, where less and less is printed. Um, obviously, court filings and things like that do require printed documents. Uh, some people always prefer uh, discoveries to have a printed record with them. And so that continues. Um, to be printed, but that's at our choice, um, not because the technology won't provide a, an alternative. Uh, you may remember practicing in this environment. Uh, when I came into practice in the late 90s, this was how our office, <laughs> not quite like this, but certainly there were boxes of uh, files and banker boxes stacked in each office, and sometimes it was really quite crowded looking. And now if you walk into our offices, uh, you're going to see a very clean, organized office. Um, I'll just talk about some of the efficiencies that I have at my desktop. Um, I use a standing desk. Uh, I like to think standing up. I'm standing right now as I do this presentation. And I have a, a flexible desk that goes up and down. Uh, if I'm having a meeting with someone, it goes down. I use two monitors. Uh, I've considered a third, just because uh, it just that's basically what's replacing any kind of paper review. Uh, so I have on one screen my document management solution, and on the other screen my case management solution. I have a camera so I can do video conferencing. I have a headset so I can type while I am uh, talking on the phone or taking notes. It's uh, much, much uh, more efficient. And it's a very clean environment. I like to work in a clean environment. And, uh, but I will print off the odd thing for a meeting, such as a mediation memo or a pretrial memo, but most of the documents I'll rely on will be on my tablet 
which is connected to my computer you see there under the monitors. In order to have a paperless office, um, you need to have key people designated and uh, our key members, uh, when the mail comes in, is uh, the receptionist will handle the smaller size of mail. So anything, say, under 15 pages, she can scan at her desktop and uh, label it. Uh, obviously, if big, big um, stacks of hospital records come in, and that's going to go to our scanning clerk at the back of our office. That would, have been, that would have been the same person utilized as a mail clerk that would have docketed the mail and uh, delivered it. And now uh, her job is to help with the scanning and labeling of the documents that come in. Once those documents come in, they are placed in our document management software, which is PrimaFact, and they're placed in the legal assistance inbox and the legal assistant then labels the mail, files it away in the specific uh, file or project, and then puts a copy of that mail in the lawyer's action box, which is the same as the, 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 pre, you know, the paper version of your in-tray. And that uh, is where the lawyer decides, okay, uh, is, he gonna is he or she going to delegate that uh, piece of mail to someone to uh, respond to? Uh, are they going to dictate on it? Are they going to decide to deal with it on their own? Um, et cetera, et cetera. But that mail has already been put away in the file, so everyone else collaborating on that project will be able to find that mail. And uh, all the lawyer has to do is decide what they want to do with that mail and then delete it because there's already a copy saved. And this is our interesting flow chart, um, which deals with uh, how we open up projects. Um, so uh, from intake till uh, uh, investigation, essentially. We have uh, phases of our files, and I can uh, explain that to you a little later. But the first phase is obviously opening the file. And so if we meet a potential client and we decide we want to proceed, our software does it all on the computer. The intake form is on the computer. The questionnaire is on the computer. Uh, the retainer can even be signed digitally. There is uh, software included in this technology that allows for a DocuSign experience. And uh, so it's a secure signature. Both you and the client get the copy uh, to prove that it was done and it's digitally authorized. Um, as you've probably done many times for other transactional things through banks, et cetera. They're now using this technology. So we're using it for both authorizations and for retainers. And um, once this file is opened up, it's opened up in uh, FileVine, which is our case management software. It's opened up in PC Law, which is our docketing software, and in PrimaFact, which is our document management software. Uh, there is a checklist that goes to the opening clerk. Uh, she sends it out to the lawyer to say, which records do you need right away? So if, in many of our medical malpractice matters, we won't order uh, everything to do with the damages side of the case. We often will just order the hospital records so we can get initial medical opinions on standard of care and causation. And uh, if the case is obviously going to go further and we're going to issue the claim, um, then we're going to order uh, all the other OHIP records, the tax returns, the other damage documents that we need to build this file. So the clerk is involved in this process. The medical records are done digitally through a outsourced company, which I'm going to explain. Uh, there's two of them. There's MedChart, which deals with medical records, and Tracument, which deals with non-medical requests, uh, such as school records, uh, OHIP records, medical records, and um, any, any quasi-medical records, prescription records, um, any health organization uh, will go through MedChart. Um, so that is our, our quick and dirty uh, flowchart. These are the apps that we are utilizing. FileVine I'm going to spend some time on, and PrimaFact, which is both our, our um, document management and case management solution. PC Law, I'm sure you're very uh, familiar with uh, for docketing. ACL is a document uh, solution for automating uh, sort of re repetitive letters that go out from your office, batch letters. 
that can be customizable. Tracumen and MedChart are outsourced uh, providers. Um, and then you see Dropbox, uh, that's just a, a sharing solution. And VineSign, which is a, a DocuSign experience built into FileVine, which I'll, I'll review with you. So first, the case management software, which um, we utilize extensively for tracking teamwork, collaboration tasks, calendarizing, um, and keeping track of all data related to the files. Uh, this is the look and feel of FileVine. Uh, very exciting uh, software that came out of uh, Utah. And this software um, allows collaboration and it's in um, a cloud environment and not stored on your server. So it's a web experience that you can actually get this look on your cell phone, on your smartphone I should say, on your uh, iPad, on any computer device by logging in to their uh, network. Um, and it's, it's a really, really clean experience. At the top, you can put a photo of your client, their information, the uh, information about the case, uh, discuss the uh, project in terms of some vitals about it. Um, you can add hashtags on the right at the top to quickly find uh, keywords uh, that identify this project. And uh, on the far, far right, you'll see phase. Uh, this is a case going to pretrial. Uh, but we have them all phased, and we automate tasks based on the phase that they're at. So if I say open the file, there will be 20 tasks that go out to the clerk. If I move it to investigation, it will be more uh, tasks that come out. Um, again, drafting the claim, and then all the different phases that we've, we've uh, initiated. Down the left column, these are the key uh, parts of the case. You have an activity feed, which is where all discussions are kept. Uh, very quickly, you, in, you import that. Uh, you have a case summary. The intake is basically your, when you're doing your opening of the file, you're asking the key questions of the client. Um, calendar is just where you keep track of that. It interacts with Outlook, so Outlook still becomes your dominant calendar, but it tracks it for reporting purposes. Team is where you assign all the different individuals in the firm that you want to get updates about this. Um, so when you go into your regular feed, which I'll show you, uh, you would see uh, information that comes in. Um, so this is the, the look and feel of the feed. Um, you would see, uh, this is an example of assigning a task. You just simply use the at symbol um, with a, a couple of first letters of your team member, and that becomes a task which will show up. And if you look at the top bar there, you see a lightning, you see a little hamburger menu followed by a lightning rod. Uh, the, the three dots and the lines, and then the envelope. So the lightning rod is your feed where you're going to get all the updates on all your files. And you usually get, if you have a, a file load of over 50 files, you're going to get about 100 feed items a day. Um, and then the tasks are when people need your feedback. So if, I, if they're looking for instructions from me, um, I will go to my tasks. That becomes like my inbox in Outlook. Um, so we do not use Outlook as a form of delegating, we only use uh, FileVine, and that way we keep everything uh, secure outside of uh, hacking where email is often uh, vulnerable. And uh, we also segregate so that uh, we don't have to worry about uh, it getting cluttered or lost with other emails because it's always assigned to the project. It's date sensitive, and so an individual will click their tasks and they'll see all the tasks. There's six items they have to deal with and they can just quickly respond. Uh, there's no coding required. Uh, and then this would be the intake section. So this is how we open up our file uh, through file setup. And uh, many of the, uh, it's a long questionnaire, but some of them will auto-generate uh, standard letters uh, once, you've, once you've put in the key uh, pieces of your uh, file. And uh, this is a little more on document generation. Um, you can get a sense as to the power of it. So uh, once it's in there, um, we have the letters already programmed in, and uh, they just pop out, and everything is kept in that, in that paperless environment, and it's added to your document list, which is where you can store documents in FileVine. PrimaFact is pretty familiar to most of the legal community. It's been around for a long time. We've had it 
probably since uh, maybe early 2000s, uh, 2003, I think, is when we started. And uh, this is the look and feel of a main binder, um, which I'm sure many of you have seen before. Uh, you have a digital binder, so we basically took our physical binders and we copied the way the index looked and put it into a digital environment. Obviously, you, you have the ease and use of everyone collaborating and seeing uh, all the paper that they want to see in the digital form, uh, which are essentially PDFs that are shareable and they're notable and you can annotate them and uh, search them, uh, which you wouldn't be able to do if it was a physical file in a box because only you could look at the box one at a time. People were taking medical records out. They were just, you know, and the box was never updated. Um, the indexes weren't updated. It was a much more onerous process. We probably saved 30% uh, efficiency by moving to paperless, so 30% more work, 30% um, less wasted time, and probably the same amount of efficiency through uh, the digital case management service uh, versus you know, sending stuff through email or um, the other ways of collaborating. This is the uh, look and feel of our, um, what, what a document would look like. Um, so we have on the left column um, all the projects listed under, say, a lawyer's name. And in the middle column, you can see a nice digital display of that index. And then on the right side, you'll see a uh, preview of the PDF. And you can open up that PDF. You can annotate it. You can, um, you can uh, share that uh, PDF with others outside of the office. And then you'll see in the middle column some colorized um, coding. And those codes uh, will relate to uh, the way issues have been highlighted and um, flagged. So you can see how um, this program allows you to flag issues in uh, documents, and, um, and it's a pretty robust document management program. And I showed you the uh, document preview previously. Um, so you can see for, for trial prep, it's a, it's a great aspect of uh, flagging key evidence, um, deciding what's helpful or harmful um, to key issues. And uh, as you go through, you can sort of create a, a report of issues from all the work that you've done by reviewing those documents. Um, we use a program called TrialPad. It's a, it's a pretty cheap app. It's about, I think, $100 for your iPad. It's a, it is an iOS app, and I will be demonstrating that at um, the Tricks of the Trade conference coming up. And uh, that app allows you to put your PDFs into a um, sort of an Elmo type projector, but you're basically using uh, the iPad to replace the Elmo. And when you're doing trial presentations, you basically communicate through an Apple TV box, um, which is easy to set up, and that will then broadcast itself to any screen. Um, and what you do on that iPad becomes shareable and uh, so you can draw on it, you can project a certain image, and it has a presentation section which you can see in the middle, and then on the left would be all your reports. So that's quite a powerful uh, tool. What I like about um, a lot of these web-based programs is how they integrate with each other. So um, gone are the days where you know, you'd have to use one program for something and another program for something else. Now they're starting to talk to each other, and you're getting amazing, powerful um, effects by uh, using the data from one to help the other. Um, so, for instance, this is a number of data fields that you can get from data in uh, FileVine. This is a program called Domo, which comes with FileVine. And what you can see there is if you're managing a firm, you can get a ton of data related to the um, management of your firm. You can see all of the cases that you're handling. You can find it out by, by lawyer, how many cases they're handling, uh, which phase that they're in, um, how, many, um, how is your marketing doing, what are your referral sources, uh, what's the projected revenue for the firm, and on and on. And uh, I love to talk about Domo. If anyone has any questions, you can, you can always uh, reach out to me 
Um, I think it's a very, very powerful uh, program. What used to happen, I used to use a different case management program, and I had to export the data to a spreadsheet and make these charts of my own, and uh, it would take me a whole day to make two of these charts. So this is instant. Every day you get all this uh, information. It can be information overload. You have to know how to manage it and use it properly. Um, I talked about getting the digital signatures. So uh, we use uh, VineSign, which is integrated with FileVine. So you can be working in FileVine. Um, you're working on a document, and then you decide, okay, the client has to sign this document. You export that Word document uh, out to the client through this program. It's a secure program that comes back into FileVine, and you can store it in your document. So a real, real easy, simple solution. Um, to keeping, again, everything uh, functioning very well. And, you know, what's be beautiful about these programs is you don't have to be in a physical office connected to a server or even a cloud server um, to have the, your business operate um, on this basis. So I, I, I don't think this is necessarily a solution. I mean, I, I think this is a solution that, which I would say is good for a small uh, solo firm, um, five lawyers. It doesn't matter how many lawyers you have. Um, I think even the smaller you are, the more compelling this is because you really can punch above your weight um, when, you, when you work with these kinds of apps um, to manage your, um, your cases and stay on top of your, your projects. So this is just an example of what it looks like. It could be, uh, there's not always having to be video evidence, but there is a, a unique data point uh, app uh, IP address which just like with DocuSign uh, that VineSign has uh, created for themselves. ACL is uh, used to do some uh, document um, uh, completion. So if we're making a request for medical records, this uh, program can fill in the document uh, with all the key data points from your client. And uh, you can see that many uh, court forms can be used as well uh, to do that. And then uh, I want to talk about some of the outsourcing that we do. So we use MedChart and Tracument, and I'll tell you how we use it. So basically, um, to use MedChart, uh, MedChart has its own portal uh, if you want to use it as a standalone. It also interacts and integrates with FileVine um, so that you can work within FileVine and make a request, and it will go to the portal. So basically what you're doing is you're asking another provider um, to get the records for you. Uh, how many times are you bogged down and your clerks are overwhelmed with all the production requests that counsel give you? Um, takes days and days of time, uh, and it's, it's, it's onerous. Uh, this program or this uh, service allows you to instantly get the records. So basically you've uploaded the authorizations that you got your clients to sign when you open the file, you leave it in their server system. Uh, it's in your special section that you, you have by being licensed with them. And every time you want records from SickKids or any other institution, uh, you simply open up their portal, you click your client name because they, they've got an interaction with your database, so they have your client list, and you click their, um, your client information so it would look like this screen. And uh, you start typing in new request, and you type in the hospital, and it has a very robust database with all the, uh, the clinicians that you're, you're, you're going to look up at the CPSO or even, even beyond that, the pharmacies, et cetera. And off you go, the authorizations, authorizations attached, a couple more clicks, and the request is done. And they charge a fee per service, but that fee is, is peanuts compared to what you're paying your staff. Um, and then the record comes back and uh, it lets you know um, through FileVine um, or other programs. Here's, here's an example. Um, so the tracking is tracked in FileVine. Uh, it tells you essentially how, uh, how much it costs, what the stage is in terms of, you see the top right corner, the tracking of it, what, what the interaction's been. Um, they have an uh, invoicing system where they'll, you give them a budget and they'll invoice you uh, regularly so you don't have to go uh, and wait uh, for them to say, you know, it's going to cost $100, is that okay? And then you have to send a check. They take care of that uh, for you so that you keep the process moving along as quick as possible. 
and then um, you can sync the providers and eventually you will get uh, a record that shows up with a link to your FileVine project so you can see the records. Then you can either add the records to your PrimaFact database, you can store it out so elsewhere. Um, the same works with films. Um, you can get all the films through their service. They have a viewer. Um, and you can share that link with your experts so they, they can all um, see it with a secure password. Um, Tracumen is a very similar process. Uh, again, we use Tracumen not only for document requests, uh, but we use it for secure sending of documents. We use it for uh, faxing documents, and um, it offers all those services. This is secure send, so you would type in uh, the person that you're sending the records to, um, you put in a, a password, and, um, and then they would get this link, and then they can download the records, or they can um, just view it on the portal that the document provides. And then fax is a similar thing. You're just, again, loading the document into their portal, and it will, it will proceed as a fax rather than as an email or other way of, of doing it. It will go to the fax number. So those are all the um, interactions. Uh, I tried to keep this within 30 minutes. Um, we really, really uh, look forward to new technologies that assist us with our cases. Um, I think it's uh, amazing how much technology can, can increase the power of what you can do with a project or with your client. And uh, we really, really uh, uh, have enjoyed how it's progressed, and it's allowed us uh, to do a lot more with our time and really focus on the analysis of the case and less on the mundane admin repeated tasks of, of a file. So hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, please let us know in the comments section uh, what other things we can uh, discuss. And if you have any questions, please email me, and uh, I can be reached at charles at gluckstein.com. Thank you very much. And um, appreciate you um, tuning in today.